BBC Television presents... Hello, Mr. Jones. Hello, Charlie. Hello. They don't make bread like they used to, do they? No, they don't. Look at it. No crust. You don't want a crust. You're crusty enough. <laughs> do you know what he said? Oh, he's a lad, isn't he? You know, I can never understand why he never got married. Yeah, don't start all that again. <laughs> well, I need a man about the place since my third went. I can't lug up the coals up them stairs like I used to, you know. Really? You won't find anyone better than Sid for lugging coal up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very heavy bag. You leave it here. I'll drop it in on the way out. Well, that's very nice of you. Let me take the tea out, and then I'll have a nice cup of waiting for you, Benny. All right, off you go. Now, watch it. Very nice indeed. And don't forget, any time you Yes, yes, like... yes. All right, I know. <laughs> Why don't you marry her and lug her coal upstairs for her? Oh, shut up. No, I mean it. I think you two be very happy together. All right, maybe she's not for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hang on. Here. I'll have uh, four pounds of sugar, please. That's three and eight. And a uh, dozen cakes. And shove some key cheesecakes in with it. I love the old cheesecake. Right, I'll sort some out for you. All right, here we are. Three and eight pence for all this lot. That's cheap, isn't it? Cheap, 11 pence a pound. Don't be silly, it used to be cheaper than that. No, but when you think where it comes from, I mean, all the way across the Atlantic for 11 pence a pound. I'd charge a bob. You would not. You would charge one and sixpence. I know you. <laughs> you don't even sell sugar. And already you're doing a public out of sevenpence just for practice. Yeah, but when you think about it, they've got to refine it and, and chop it up into all those little square lumps and, <laughs> and shove it into bags. Or look at it another way. I don't want to look at it another way. I'm fed up looking at it the first way. <laughs> I'm 12 stone. That's um, 160 odd pound. That uh, 11 pence a pound, that makes me about eight quid. It's about all you're worth, mate. <laughs> that means that I ought to be able to cross the Atlantic for eight quid. Well, if you want to chop yourself up into little square lumps and pour yourself into a packet, mate, you're welcome to it. <laughs> hey, that's a nice one. <laughs> Will these do, sir? Oh, lovely, Tom. I thought you asked for cheesecakes. I did. That's them now. They're not cheesecakes. They're them shredded coconut things. <laughs> Horrible. Mm. I don't know what made you decide to accompany me on this trip. Normally, I don't have any trouble shopping. I walk in, order, cop up, and walk out. I like these. You like them, but they're those shredded coconut things. They're simply horrible. Horrible, they're not proper cheesecakes. What are they then, improper cheesecakes? <laughs> <laughs> they're them shredded coconut things, horrible. I, I only eat them a little bit. I leave that flaky bit round the outside. Well, I like them. That's beside the point. You're saying they're cheesecakes. Cakes with cheese in them. They're them shredded coconut things. There's no cheese in them. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with it. They call that coconut, but it's got no cocoa in it. <laughs> they call that an, an apple turnover, but it doesn't. <laughs> Go on, have a look at it. Go on, watch it. <laughs> well, there's no need to shout. All I'm saying is that those shredded coconut Don't things... keep saying those shredded coconut <laughs> These are cheesecakes. In any case, how could you possibly tell there's no cheese in them? You only eat the middle. You leave that flaky bit round the outside. That might very well be where the cheese is. Could I have the money, please? Seven and eight. Seven and eight. And keep the great lumps of meat off my shredded coconut thing. Seven and eight. And yeah. ninepence for the biscuits. <laughs> what is it? Ever since you came in, you've been nibbling my biscuits. I saw you. Would you believe it? How mean can these shopkeepers get? <coughs> you come in here, you pay 11 bits a pound for sugar, you get palmed up for something they call cheesecakes, which are not cheesecakes at all, but are those... Those shredded coconut things. Exactly. <laughs> and then, you start moaning about the customers nibbling your biscuits. You want to encourage the customers to nibble in your biscuits. That way they might find something they like and buy some. Oh, well, if you're going to buy some, then... You want our trade, don't you? All right, I'm not going to quarrel. If you're going to buy some, have a nibble. No. <laughs> oh, come on, Sid, let's have a nibble. No. <laughs> I've already had a nibble and I don't like any of them. Good morning. <laughs> well, 
Aren't you coming to the match this afternoon? Yeah, I suppose so. Why don't you take your hat and coat off when you come round to my place? <laughs> I didn't bother. I've only just dropped in. You dropped in three hours ago, for breakfast. <laughs> when are you going to drop out again? <laughs> well, Larry, up the suspense is killing me. <laughs> I'm just thinking about old Mother Houghton. What are you going to do, eat her? <laughs> Hilarious. I was just thinking what she said about the bread. It's got no crust on it, she said, and she's dead right, mate. Look at it. It's got all that sort of rubbery cardboard stuff around it. <laughs> so what? Well, what happened to the crusty loaf we used to have before the war? Somebody ate it. <laughs> Are you going to the match or not? I've got a cookery book around here somewhere. <clears throat> what a stupid idiot, doing his nut over a crusty loaf. Who cares whether it's got a crust or not? Slop it in the gravy, it goes all soggy anyway. <laughs> oh, blimey, who's that? Crusty loaf. Who the hell cares about a crusty loaf? I don't know. Why, oh, it's a funny thing. I wonder why you never see a crusty loaf nowadays. Must be the atom bomb, like they the weather. They steam it. Pardon? They steam it. What? The bread. It's the steam ovens that do it. Do what? Stop the bread from having a crust. You see, they're not allowed to sell a loaf of bread unless it weighs a pound. Now, the only way they can do that is to bake it in a steam oven. Because if they put it in a dry one, it loses moisture and it comes out at less than a pound. Oh, really? And why is the cream always on top of the milk? I don't know <laughs> nothing about milk. <laughs> I must remember to ask the gas man how to mend my electric iron. Boiling, braising, bread. Can be bought from any reputable baker. <laughs> Who wrote this? Mr. Beaton? Oh, come on, Sid, it's late. Ten minutes to kick off. We'll never make it. Hey, can you see anything there about getting a crust? Oh, blimey, you're not still on about that, are you? Listen, listen, you get your hat and coat on and come to the match and I'll tell you why the bread hasn't got a crust on it. How would you know? The milkman told me. <laughs> would you kindly refrain from chatting to my milkman? He doesn't need any encouragement. You give him half a chance, he'll be down here eating my breakfast. And then what are you going to eat? I wasn't chatting to him, I was chatting to myself and he overheard. I'll pass that. Go on, what did he say? Well, they steamed the bread in steam ovens. They used to do it in dry ovens which put a crust on it. But now they can't. So come on. Who says they can't? I don't know. The government. <laughs> well, it's the last time I vote for them. <laughs> This milkman was explaining it's something to do with the moisture. If you take a pound of bread and stick it into a dry oven, it loses moisture. It comes out with a crust on it, but weighing less than a pound, which is not legal. Now, if you take a pound of bread and stick it into a steam oven, then it comes out the way it went in. To wit, one pound, no crust, and legal. <laughs> I preferred you talking about them shredded coconut things. <laughs> I mean, if you don't believe me, go and ask a baker. That's a very good idea. I'll do that. Hey, Sid, come back. The match. Here's a bus. God blimey, me, all this fuss about a crusty loaf. Who cares whether it's got a crust or not? What does it matter how they do it? They steam it. I know! <laughs> God blimey, the place is crawling with milkmen. Hi, <laughs> hi, one of the biscuit nibblers. What do you want? <laughs> Your why can't you make a crusty loaf for old Mrs. Atten when she wants one? Look, don't come in here asking silly questions. I just bash this dough and shove it in the oven. What goes on inside is none of my business, and I don't intend getting in there to find out. <laughs> You're supposed to be a baker. I didn't ask to be a baker. I was married into it. I started my honeymoon at 12 o'clock midnight. At 3 o'clock in the morning, my old woman shoved me in here with the ovens and the dough, and I started bashing, and I've been bashing ever since. <laughs> Very well, mate. But you're taking our good money for these dollops of aerated wind you're selling here. You're a public servant. And you're a public nuisance. First you told me how to sell biscuits, now you tell me to bake crusty bread. If you want crusty bread, bake it yourself! That's exactly what I intend to do. You want a bit of competition to shake you up, mate? No one, Martha, darling! <laughs> da, 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 
da da True love. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> You're just in time to see history made, mate. The first crusty loaf since before the welfare state. <laughs> the little things that are disappearing these days, Charlie boy, like farthings, battleships, crust on your bread. They sneak them away while your back's turned and then try to tell you you've never had it so good. Mind you, I'm not protesting about bread. I'm not starting at all the Marston and marching all the way down to Trafalgar Square. Where does that get you? In hospital with corns. No. <laughs> I'm starting right here, mate, and I'm marching down to Old Mother Alton with a crusty loaf and I'm... What's the matter with you? I didn't get in. <laughs> I didn't get in! And we lost! So what? You should have come with me, Said You should have come with me when I asked you to. No, oh, blimey, don't try to make out we'd have won if I'd have gone. Of course we would have. No one could have can put a ref off like you can. You can reduce him to a quivering ruin. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't bother about that now, mate. I've got this to do. I'm going to show that baker a thing or two. Well, how are you going to get over the weight problem? The weight problem? It couldn't be easier, mate. I stick a pound of dough in the oven. Then I weigh it when it comes out. Now, supposing it's lost one ounce, I stick in one more ounce dough to start with. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I think you've got it. Of course I've got it. How long will it be before you can start baking some loaves? Oh, I should be in full production about six o'clock. Full production about six o'clock? Right. Well, I mean, you've got a bit of working out to do first. You can't do it just like that, you know. Might have a bit... Funny, he shot off quick. Now then. I stick a pound and a bit in the oven. When it weighs a pound, I take it out. How am I going to know when it weighs a pound? <laughs> I stick the scales in the oven with a pound and a bit on them. <laughs> and I milk the scales. I stick a pound and a bit in the oven. So easy when I told Charlie about it. Joe's not in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to see Joe. He's not going in for any more of them protest meetings. He hasn't recovered from the last one yet. I've never heard of such a thing. Grown men marching round and round the town hall. But we only march round once. Yes, and straight into the nearest pub. No <laughs> need to get any notice of you. Yeah, but they did when we come out, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want to see Joe. Where's young Tom? Tom? What's he been up to? I'll knock his head off. Tell me what you've been no, doing. Wait a minute. No, it's all right, steady on. He hasn't done anything. I just want him to do me a favour, that's all. Oh. Well, he's in there doing his own work. Yeah. Hello, Tom. How'd you like to do me a favour? Tanner. All right, Tanner. <laughs> uh, I'd like you to work out a little sum for me. Shilling. <laughs> you just settled for a Tanner. Yeah, well, if it's arithmetic, you're stuck. I know you can't do it. Of course I can do it. I just want to see if you get the same answer, that's all. Okay, for a shilling. All right, a shilling. Now then, here we are. Is it algebra, arithmetic or geometry? Bread. <laughs> now, I took a pound of dough. Can I use uh, logs for this? Well, if it'll help, I've been using flour and water. <laughs> I've been sticking a pound of just, dough... Just uh, give me the problem. Yes, well, I'm trying to now. I stick one pound of dough in the oven. When it come out, it was only 14 ounces. How much dough do I have to put in the oven to get one exact pound out? I see. Well, a uh, pound, 14 ounces, therefore uh, one ounce... No, no, give... I don't want to know what one ounce you give. It's a big piece of Look, dough, mate. who it's... can't do this, son? You or me? <laughs> All right, then go and do it your own way. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, 16 divided by... Can I do anything? Uh, yeah, yes, if you want to. Um, what are nine-eighths? <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck, eh? Nine eights. Right. Seventy-two. <laughs> correct. What do you mean, correct? Did you know it? Yeah, of course. 
What did you ask me for then? I thought you said you wanted something to do. I hope you get that sum right, mate. <laughs> it's the only thing standing between you and a fit hero. There's one factor I haven't got. Yeah. What was the temperature of the oven? Temperature? Yeah. Hot. <laughs> hot, I would say, yes, hot. You've got to be more accurate than that. This is maths. Very, very hot. <laughs> I've got to have it as a number. I can't put down 16 divided by very, very hot. <laughs> I've got to have a number. Oh, I see. Well, it was a number six, seven. <laughs> Forget it. It'll have to be average temperature pressure. That is, as it's cooked at average temperature and at sea level. Sea level? <laughs> well, what's that got to do with it? I'm not going down to flipping Brighton to bake a loaf. <laughs> Well, there it is then. X equals 18 and 3 8 ounces. X does? Yeah. <laughs> How about the loaf of bread? <laughs> well, I mean, the loaf of bread don't come into it. I mean, it could be apples, oranges, bananas. But I'm not cooking bananas! <laughs> God, darn me what this modern education does for you. You do a couple of these highfalutin algebras and some nuclear fission, and where do you finish up? You stare a loaf of bread in her face and you say, hello, a banana. <laughs> I mean, no wonder you're all angry young men, you can't see straight. Look, <clears throat> I'll put it to you simply. Eyes down. Look, if you put 18 and 3 8 ounces of your dough in your oven, you'll get exactly a pound out. At sea level? Yes. I hope you're right. <laughs> oi, oi. It just cost me a shilling to find out I went to a better school than he did. <laughs> well, what's going on? Haven't you baked any loaves yet? You better get a move on, mate. What for? Don't tell me it's an international race for crusty loaves. It's a little technical trouble, that's all. It won't be a minute now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What are you doing with my loaf? Just making it, making it look artistic. As this is the first crusty loaf off the bread line, it ought to strike an individual shape. I shall strike an individual idiot in a minute. <laughs> That's for eating, not sticking flowers in. Here, <laughs> yeah, that's the shape it's got to be, now leave it. You try and cut a ham sandwich with it long and thin like you had it. Where do you get to? All the fat flopping over the edges. <laughs> leave it. C for Charlie. <laughs> Here I am, sweating over that hot kitchen stove the whole afternoon while you're out enjoying yourself at a football match. I'm not trying to give him my right arm to see. Then you come galloping back in here and I've got the cheek to expect to have a loaf of bread named after you. Well, who told you how to do it? The milkman. And his name is probably Horace. And I have not got enough dough for a hoe. <laughs> yeah. S for Sydney. Now leave it. Excuse me. <laughs> well, how long is it going to take? About an hour. An hour? Well, what are we sitting here for, then? I didn't ask you to sit here. Well, can't you hurry up and bake some more loaves? What do you mean, hurry up? You can't rush the forces of arithmetic. Be different if it was at sea level.
not going to weigh a pound. Of course it's going to weigh a pound. I worked it out myself. That's what worries me. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit there hasn't gone brown yet. Where? Where? Show me. Go on, go on. Of course it's going brown. It's going brown all over. Love it. Look at it. That's a shadow. <laughs> well, how can you expect it to go brown if it's in a shadow? Of course it's going brown. Look at it. All over there. Come on, boy. Brown over. Look at him go there. Come on, it. Look. That bit in the corner hasn't gone brown yet. <laughs> I'm not worrying about one little patch. We'll bung some suntan lotion on it. <laughs> The rest of it looks lovely. Quick, get the scales. <laughs> Marvellous, isn't it? Look at that crust, mate. <laughs> Let's see what she weighs. Fifteen and a half ounces. That's near enough. It's not near enough. It's got to be a pound to sell it. Well, who's going to sell it? I am. I mean, well, you are. Don't be silly. That's for old Mother Outen. I'm going to take it down there and show it to that frustrated baker on the way. Well, aren't you going to bake it any more? No, why? Well, I thought that was the idea. Oh, well, maybe some other time I might have a go. Some other time? Oh, blimey. Fifteen and a half ounces. I can't understand it. Perhaps we're below sea level. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I've got an idea. If we bake them and we're going to sell them, we've got to sell them by a pound, right? Right. Well, next time, I'll bake a loaf 50 foot long and we'll chop it off in pound lumps as the customers ask for it. <laughs> How can you do that? You haven't got an oven 50 foot long to bake it in. Oh, shut up. Who's asking you anyway? <laughs> the main thing is I've proved it can be done, mate. And I'm taking it round here now. <laughs> I'm taking it round to our mother out. Right away. Stand back. Well, where are you going? To Mother Outen. Yeah, well, 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 don't go that way. Go this way. It's quicker. Down no, a fire escape. If you've gone raving mad, I'm going this way. <laughs> what do you want? One large and one small, please. <laughs> <laughs> large and one small? You so must have known, don't you? I want to buy one. And I have a twist, Mr. James, please. <laughs> Sorry, lady. I'm paying point twos and five cards down. <laughs> <laughs> Bread. Yeah, well, I did put it about a bit, Sid. Ladies, please. There he is. And that's his loaf. Could I see you inside a moment, please, sir? Yeah, come on. What you going to say? Right, what's all this in? I'm from the Ministry, sir. Uh, this gentleman here tipped us off, uh, informed us of your intention to operate the Krusty Bread Company. Would you sign here, please, sir? Krusty Bread Company? What's that? The company was registered at the Ministry this morning, sir. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought I'd better get in quick, Sid, in case somebody else thought of it. You can't tell people by their looks, can you? I mean, well, look at it. Oh, never mind. The main point is, mate, that I baked this to show you can have crusty bread. Now then, supposing I sign that, then what? Well, it means I can go ahead and apply for your permit to bake for public consumption. When will that be? Never. <laughs> You're not allowed to bake crusty bread. It'll need an act of parliament. An act of parliament to get crusty bread? That's what I'm telling you, see. You need an act of parliament to get a crust on your bread. No wonder we haven't got a man up in space yet. <laughs> He's a bloke in one in parliament, mate. Nobody works faster than him. He'd have us all in orbit in a week. <laughs> what about the Krusty Bread Company? It hereby goes into voluntary liquidation. And I'll bet you that's got old Khrushchev dead worried. Yeah, Mr. James, I've come all the way from Whitehall. Stand back! 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 Stand Well, Mrs. Atten, how do you like it? Oh, Mr. James, you shouldn't have. I know I shouldn't have, but I didn't know it when I started. Oh, and it's still warm. I love fresh bread. Well, go on, love, have a nibble. Oh, I'm going to. <laughs> Put a nice bit of butter on it, cut the crusts off. Oh, lovely. <laughs> cut the crusts off? <laughs> oh, yes, I have to now, dear. I can't eat crusts. It's my teeth, you see, they don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and buy some of those shredded coconut things. <laughs> <laughs>